Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's session we will be looking at creating credential and locker. So this is what we will be looking and we will be covering. At the end of this session you will be able to create credential, create lockers and use them in your bot. First of all, why we need credentials and locker? So for example, when you are building a bot, your bot may store sensitive information uh, which is uh, very very sensitive data to your uh, related to your project right so if you want to store such information for example if you're connecting with one application which uh, has a detail of uh, credentials like uh, username or password and you don't want them to be uh, hard coded in your bot or in config file or somewhere on your runner machine so for that purpose you can go ahead and use credentials and locker they are pretty secure way of storing your sensitive information so that's the purpose of using credentials so hope the purpose is clear and now we will go ahead and create credential and locker both and then we in our bot we will use them so let's navigate to the control room and then in the manage section of a360 you can find credentials so once we click on the credentials you have the option to create credential create locker and you can delete the existing uh, credential and lockers as well so here you can see the tabs credentials tab locker tab and the request which your bot will be making so let's first try to create one credential let's name it uh, maybe email credential or mm, we can uh, yeah uh, i'll i'll in the OTP created task, uh, we'll be try to use those credentials. So in right now in the email section, we are passing the uh, username, the uh, the email address directly as an insecure string, and the password we are uh, passing through one of the credential variable. But after that, we will be using this credential uh, locker, uh, credential and locker option to get the password. So here, let let me. Uh, create a credential with name email credential this is an email credential this is optional you can give or you may leave that as blank so attribute here we are just going to get the information uh, of password uh, from this credential we are not uh, we have we will use the email id as it is but we will uh, use the password from credential so i'll leave the description blank for now and here you have two types of input one is standard and one is user provided user provided is the one where uh, the credential is added so when the credential is added to a locker so this is how we will first be creating credential and then we will be uh, creating a locker so this this uh, credential get added to the locker so that's how the credential and locker uh, works so together this is called credential vault concept in automation anywhere so here we can keep standard once we keep standard we can provide the value here and we can tick this uh, check this masked option so that whatever you type in this value text box is a uh, mask that is not visible to you or to any of the user so right now uh, we'll proceed with the standard option but i'm uh, i'll tell you what is user provided option as well so whenever the credential is added to a locker an email will be sent to the consumer for example if you can see my email over here uh, once uh, i had added one of the uh, locker so this is this kind of email you get and you can view that locker so uh, once the locker is added from the control room uh, you get this kind of email from where you can edit or view the locker which was created okay for now we will go with standard option and the value here i have pasted uh, this is the password which i am using for my application for sending an email and you can see this plus sign you can add multiple attributes by clicking this plus sign uh, for now we are just gonna use password attribute so we are fine with these settings use use attribute only on password or mask field if we check this uh, this attribute is further restricted to uh, to only the password and uh, the mask field so for example 
like if if uh, you are using ftp credential there are three attributes server username and password and the password field is masked the password field uh, is masked then the ftp command when we press f2 you will only see user uh, server name and user uh, sorry server and user attributes so this mass field won't be available or won't be visible in the first place so we are fine with these settings now let's create the credential so as soon as you create the credential you cannot directly use this credential there has to be a locker uh, in order to use this credential because if you go to this bot let me copy this command and paste it over here i'll just disable this existing one and here if you can see if you go to the credential option if you try to pick you have the option to choose locker first and then credential and then attribute so you need to create a locker over here so there are two ways to create locker either you can visit the lockers tab and create it from here create locker or you can from the credential tab as well you can check this option and you can create a locker here so in this case whatever locker you create your credential will be inside the, stored inside that locker so let's create a email locker and i'll not i'll not provide the description uh here you have created the uh, like there, this is the email credential which is uh, added inside this locker and then in the left pane you have uh, different options like owner manager participants and consumer uh, we are interested in owners so as uh, this bot I'd, uh, i have created this with this uh, logged uh, with the logged in bot user so by default this is the uh, owner of this locker then we have managers so locker managers have all the permissions uh, ex except they cannot add or uh, owners or managers so they have all other permissions what owner has on the locker but they cannot add other owners or manager for for us it will it is disabled as we do not have this permissions and the participants uh, locker participants will be able to view the locker they will be able to add their own credential to this locker but they will not be able to remove it because you can you can say it's a uh, uh, like deletion is restricted in this kind of uh, permissions so when you are working with a multiple uh, teammates in a in a in a project then you can create one locker and your teammates uh, can be given this participant access wherein they will be able to access the already created lockers and they will be able to add their own as well so now moving to consumer for our case this is as we are using the community edition so we have a role community edition user we can add this as a consumer consumer will consume the data from the locker like the credentials and will use that inside a bot so they have two additional permissions they will able to input their information in the user provided credential for our case we are we are not using user provided option for this uh, example so uh, this is not applicable here they will be able to use credential in the locker while running the bot so this is what we are looking at so let's create a locker here now we have locker and credential both created so this is the email locker and this is the credential if you click on the credential you have the option to see here attributes and you can uh, you can modify as well here from the requested version if you wish to modify the data let me close this if you click here and edit the credential you have the option here and if you go to the locker email locker you can add if you have permission you will be able to add these participants or managers so let me close this we are done with the setup we have created a credential we have created a locker now we need to use them in our bot so let's go over here so send an email this is the command where we will be needing to use the credential so we, i can use the credential on the username but since i have only created a uh, attribute for password we'll be using it for password so i'll go to credential option then we'll pick the credentials for picking a credential we need a locker first so email locker and then email credential 
and then the attribute that we created was password confirm let's run the bot so it should it should select a random number and it should email us that that random number as an OTP so yeah email sent and the OTP is 7605 we can side by side check the email as you can see here your OTP is 7605 so this is about this is all about using credentials and lockers in your bot right so earlier we were doing it using a credential variable and not the actual credential so so that's how the credentials and lockers work in automation anywhere a 360 hope you like this information in case you do please hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends till then have a good day thanks for watching